With schools limited to virtual education during this quarantine, we had students from Rome, Italy reach out to us with questions about one of the ancient wonders, Machu Picchu. We asked our expert tour guide, Fabricio Ortiz, to unravel some of the mystery surrounding this marvelous Inca citadel. Hello guys, really nice to meet you. My name is Fabricio. I was a tour guide in Machu Picchu for almost uh, 14 years. Uh, since the time I was there, I saw many archaeologists trying to find the answers for most of the questions. So I really hope what I'm going to tell you will help you in your studies. Hi, Sofia. You asked a question about Machu Picchu and it was uh, who discovered Machu Picchu after it was abandoned. It was in 1911, Mr. Hiram Bingham, a professor from the Yale University who was looking for the Golden Lost City of the Incas. Instead, he was brought by some Andean native people all the way to Machu Picchu. Hi, Viola. Who decided to build Machu Picchu? Most of the people thought it was actually built by Inca Pachacutec the ninth Inca king, the most important one probably for the Incan society. But recent studies let us know that uh, there were some pre-Incan civilizations establishing all spread around. So Incas practically took advantage of elder civilizations already established. Maria Sole, what was the reason Machu Picchu was built? Why was the city of Machu Picchu so important? That's a question of Lavinia. Three very important reasons. The first one is safety. And actually Machu Picchu was built high up on the top of the mountains between the Andes uh, and the jungle sites of Peru. Safety. The second important reason, it was the location. By facing the east side, where in this case the sun rises, shining most of the crops since early in the morning. So this process we call photosynthesis was going to work in a much better way. And the third, probably most important reason is water. Even by the time they decided to construct on the top of the mountains, they could find water springs that could feed them for the time they were going to spend by over there. Hi Annabelle. Do we have any recent information about what happened to the inhabitants of Machu Picchu? Archaeologist excavations made in the 1990s actually found women bones infected with syphilis and smallpox. These bacteria were actually brought by Spanish soldiers. They were in contact with some Incas, so they brought the bacteria to Machu Picchu, infected people by over there, and finally killed them. Ana Sofia, are there any Inca archaeological sites similar to Machu Picchu in Peru? There are many. If we consider the expansion of the Inca Empire starting in Quito, Ecuador, by the northeast part of this empire, until Maule River in the south, actually it is a really huge expansion, and it was necessary to have lots of small Inca towns spread all around for much better control of the Inca Empire. Hi Eduardo, your question is if people can live in Machu Picchu. We cannot do that nowadays anymore because Machu Picchu was considered as a cultural inheritance of the world. So this is like an alive museum and nobody can live in a museum, you know what I mean? Hi Filippo, how did they perfectly cut the stones? This is a technique uh, which was unfortunately lost in the past of the time. The right way in how they could cut the stones to join them perfectly as they did at those ancient times is unfortunately this is still a huge question. Anyway, my friends, thank you very much for your questions. I appreciate your interest about Machu Picchu and I surely advise the best way to know more about it is being here. So as soon as these situations will pass, I'll be waiting here with my open arms. Thank you very much.